Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Zach, and um, this is a bit weird because it's been a while since I've done one of these unboxings. Anyways, uh, this is going to be a very nostalgic kind of video because usually you don't see this kind of stuff as often as you would unless you were born around the early years of 2000 to like 2012, 13-ish. But anyways, um, this is for the OGs. This is for the people who have been subscribed to Zach Dio for the longest time. So if you guys haven't noticed, but if you go to my first video, my earliest videos, there's like an option on YouTube that I shows to see the oldest of videos or very first videos, whatever. You guys would know that my very first video was a Beyblade video. Yes, Zach Deku was originally going to be a Beyblade channel, but it never came to be that way because I just didn't think that would be my passion going all the way through instead of making skits. But anyways, enough of the chatter. We have a Beyblade unboxing. Before we go any further, yes, I am a geek. I love Beyblade. I know everything about it. I knew about the old gen, the plastic generations, all that stuff, GT. I know about the Metal Saga, Metal Fight, Metal Fusion, if you're in America, Metal Masters, Metal Fury, Shogun Steel, even the 4D system, which was Metal Fury. But don't worry, I'm aware of my stuff. Yes, I know about Beyblade Burst. Uh, I stopped watching the anime because it started, it started getting boring at around season four, season three. Anyways, this unboxing. Firstly, oh, okay, this is the receipt. Oh yeah, I got these off of eBay from this guy, baywarehouse.com, 20% off. Um, This is a barcode, but I don't know if this is like how I access my 20% off purchase or if this is like the way to get to the um, website, but I'll edit something in just so you guys could see. I don't know. But now for the main part. <sighs> That's right, this is gonna be a double unboxing of Big Bang Pegasus Final Drive and El Drago Destructor Final Survive. Oh crap. Uh, I'm very uh, picky on what I'll unbox. So uh, in the next video, you guys get to decide. No, I'm just messing with you guys. You don't. We're gonna start off with the man himself, Jinga Hagane. With this big banger, Pegasus. All right, this is pretty much around the whole box. It's, it's Japanese, but I don't read Japanese. Sorry if you hear any background noise. It's my fan. It's genuinely hot in my room. Uh, I don't have anything to cut open the box, so I'm gonna use my keys. Uh, be safe when using sharp objects in general, especially keys. They're meant to go into cars, not open boxes. But this is an exception. Hello? I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. Um, here's the ripcord. This is the stickers. Oh my god, they're warped. No! The final drive performance tip. Here's a tool. And here, here is Big Bang Pegasus and the light launcher too. Uh, I'm gonna get this open for you guys because I don't want to struggle on the camera and it kind of takes up our time, so... It worked! Firstly, uh, here are the instructions for Big Bang Pegasus. Uh, this doesn't go over much except for the parts, how to lay them out, and also the modes and where to place the stickers. Here's the backside. Talking about all the modes. I can't read Japanese. I'd love to tell you guys what the name of the modes are, but I'll just do my best to explain what it does and what they are. Here's the sticker sheet. Sadly, it's warped. So uh, I'll apply the stickers after I put the bay together. Here's the final drive system. When you launch, the velocity of the prongs, well, velocity in general, I don't know if I said that wrong, but uh, it causes the prongs to spread because of the airflow. And once you start slowing down from the semi-flat tip, it goes into a rubber flat, kind of a rubber hole flat almost like a CS tip on Ray Striker. But anyways, the prongs go in when the velocity is low, and then it causes you to go on this rubber flat tip, making you go faster. Kind of like a life after death. 
tactic special move. I don't know. Final drive sucks in real life when you're paddling it against other metal fight bays. But um, here's the face bolt, some marble blue. And here is the Pegasus wheel. Well, here is Pegasus, the energy ring, clear wheel. Uh, if you look close enough, it actually has iron flakes in it to give it some weight inside the clear wheel. This is Pegasus 3 because this is Cosmic Pegasus, well, in the anime, but it's also Big Bang Pegasus. And now for the fusion wheel and PC frame and core. Uh, right now, this is the basic form of Big Bang. I think this was called omnidirectional mode or it's just the neutral mode. Anyways. You get these little boxes right here with a little cube on there, a little stud, and then you put that there. This is the barrage mode. One of the best modes on this fusion wheel, if I had to say so myself. Putting this back and you move the PC frame. I think this is the defense mode. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I think this is defensive because it's like covering the gap a little bit, but this helps out. And once you move this core and the PC frame, you get uh, I don't know, smash attack mode, something like that. Uh, this isn't Wing Pegasus, but I know that's one of the moves for Pegasus when he's in Wing Pegasus. But this is where you get most of your smash when having it in this mode. It's one of the strongest modes you can have it in. But for me personally, I like to keep it in the basic mode, basically just to start off the battle. Here are all the parts once again. I'll put the stickers on uh, off screen. So here it is right now. Gosh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I didn't do the best job at putting the stickers on, but hey, Big Bang Pegasus. This is a goofy horse. It's one on the left. Um, yeah, on to the next. Actually, before we move on to El Drago, I just want to mention these instructions right here. Make sure you don't give your friend an uppercut. Here, don't give your friend an uppercut. Just... The sports in the battle top, please. Oh, also light launcher too. It's uh, pretty decent. Not my favorite kind of launcher to use. Also, if you guys wanted a comparison, here is the Hasbro's Cosmic Pegasus. That isn't really 4D. Next to Big Bang Pegasus. Night and day, look at how chunky these guys are. And also now I have a whole family of Pegasus. Here's the prohibited Pegasus. Storm Pegasus. Galaxy Pegasus. Big Bang Pegasus now. Along with Samurai Pegasus. No, I don't have Wing Pegasus, but eh. Up next. Ryuga. I mean, look at this guy. Look at him. He's like, Jenga. El Drago. Anyways, um, El Drago Destructor. Um, this is the box. It comes with a left light launcher too. Final Survive System, similar to Final Drive, but it, it's actually vice versa. I'll go over that. Here it is. The box is kind of the same as Pegasus's. Here are the attributes. Here are the modes it's talking about. Here's the recommended combo. Ironically enough, it's Big Bang Pegasus Final Survive. And yeah, there's the 4D system talking about the Final Survive. And... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here are the parts. Uh, this is light launcher too. Oh, hey, El Drago, there he is. Oh, dang, that's hard. Um, here's the light launcher two left. Um, I actually will take this one out uh, on recording because these ones, I love left launchers. Left launchers are always really cool, especially since they're like left Beyblade exclusive, which like there aren't that many left rotating bays. There can only be one life rotating bay in this world, only one, said Ryuga. 
Oh, am I putting this in right? Oh, shit. It's like this. Yeah, it's like this. Yeah, that too. It's always... Something about it, it's always janky, like, compared to... Compared to the basic left launcher... Light launcher 2 that rotates right. The, the teeth are aiming up. This one is aiming down for the black one. And, uh, yeah, it's always slightly bigger, too, for some reason. Prongs are in a different way. I did not get ripped off. These are legit. Here are the stickers for El Drago Destroy. Yes, they look really um, unique and like hard to put on, but that's just El Drago. He's got to be fancy. Here's the final survive system. Unlike Pegasus, it actually starts off on the semi flat mode or the shark mode specifically. And when the turbulence of velocity, if my science is correct, physics i passed my class with the c anyways uh at max velocity the prongs will separate and they'll put it in its whole flat mode making it aggressive and basically when it slows down boom sharp tip and there's a reasoning behind why it does this instead of uh what big bang pegasus does and i'll go over that next up we have a drago destructor <laughs> crap um, damn, I need to look for that. Okay, I found the face bolt. Uh, it's a dark blue, dark marble blue compared to Vegas's face bolt. Yeah. And here is the El Drago Destructor Wheel. Uh, the El Drago Wheel, the Destructor Wheel. That's full metal, baby. Here's um, El Drago. It's funny how it's swapped because usually this would be the metal part and this would be the plastic part. Anyways, uh, there's also rubber on this wheel as you can see. Okay, sorry. Let me go over the modes. Um, okay, if you twist it around, this is attack mode showing the plastic teeth and the rubber is right here. And when you swap it all the way around, to where you see the red part the rubber part now this is absorb mode because when it hits it it begins to spin steel and now i'm going to go back to talk about the final survive tip the reason why it goes into the sharp mode is specifically for the absorb mode so that way it's more steady and it could spin more easily when like taking damage and taking hits now, sadly, when using Final Survive and Absorb Mode against another left rotating base, say your opponent has another El Drago Destroy, it's kind of useless. But it's still a very pretty Beyblade at that. So, um, let me. I'll assemble it and I'll put the stickers on. <sighs> oh. <sighs> What's this mess doing here? Anyways, uh, here's El Drago next to the rest of the El Drago family. Uh, here's Laney El Drago, Meteor El Drago, and again, here's El Drago Destructor. No, sadly, I don't have the pre-hybrid El Drago. I never bothered getting that one. Uh, but this is El Drago's timeline in the anime. Yeah. Once again, guys, thank you for watching. I know this is very random and I don't upload that many Beyblade videos anymore, but you know, it was just a way to get back into nostalgia and also just a way to keep up the upload. So yeah, uh, let me know if you guys want to see any more unboxings, maybe even more Beyblade videos, even though I don't do that as much as I would usually. So it's been Zach and Peace out.